Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. Got more from my Buccaneers playbook. I'm going to be doing the uh, the full breakdown of the stack wide flex. Um, this is something that, you know, I told you guys uh, recently. I have a ton of plays from this formation. This is a very good home run formation. It's a very good dink and dunk formation. And I'm going to give you guys the, the full breakdown of it right now, with the exception of uh, the fade out, which I already did a full video on. I have a link in the description for that. Uh, but let's go and let's move on to some of these other plays. Now, there's some really good dink and dunk plays. I love the Y sale. That's a very good play. We're going to pick that first. Uh, we can pick, we're going to pick random defense. We're going to go random nickel against this defense to start. So the number one thing when it comes to this particular uh, play is the running back in the flat. That's going to be my first read. If it's a man coverage, I got a couple different reads. But if it's a zone coverage, it's pretty much always going to be to that running back. That's going to be the first read if it's there. You can see the streak just pulls open this guy pretty much every time against anything but hard flats. So I could steal that catch and run all game. But if it's a man coverage, I got two options. The Y route on the other side and the A route are both very good options. If it's a man, which just looks like it is, and you can see we're pretty much just going to be, you know, we can steal flats all game. This is one of the, the more cheat code type of plays in this formation based off the fact that you have so much. Uh, and even when like there, that was a man coverage. The running back was still up because the man coverage was so far off when the play started. So to me, this is definitely one of the bread and butter plays of this alignment. Here we have a man coverage. Uh, uh, that was it was an odd look it's different on next gen than it is on old gen so if you're coming out against guys who run a lot of heavy zone packages um which most people are doing the rb route's going to be there all the time let's say hard flat it's the only thing cover two and hard flat would be the only thing that would give that issues uh if you have man coverage it's all about the y route it's all about the a route it's really that simple if you can make those reads pre-snap even here that's another man coverage the guy was still late the table route still beats it now there's not a lot of home runs to a play like this but you do have uh, some unique options when it comes to cover to zone. If you motion this guy in and put the uh, the A route on a streak, this uh, this B route will get outside of most cover to zone. So that's something you can do. If you have a cover to zone like right there, I probably get caught and ran that. The only thing I could really mess this up is if the receiver gets zone chucked inside towards the safety. So that's really the only thing you have to watch. Just as long as he gets outside, like right there, that's an inside zone chuck. It's not going to be open the same. But you can see there's still some spacing. But ultimately, if he gets outside of the cornerback, that's where going to be where he has the most success. Otherwise, the running back's always going to be open anyway. So like I said, right here, we get that outside zone chuck. Just have to wait a little bit, and then I get his, I throw, get the throw out of sack animation, which you can see is still open. Now, this play here, the way that that release is designed for the B route is to get outside. But if for whatever reason he does not get outside of that cornerback's zone chuck, it won't necessarily have the same success. So that's the one thing you have to watch for that can mess up that play. Now, I'm not a huge fan of screens in this game, but I do find that the halfback slip screen, because it's so close to the Y sail, is a good play. This year, I'm just going to go to him and run against random. This play here is good because I feel confident in all the checkdowns. Uh, it's not just about the running back. The Y route is a very good checkdown. I only run screen plays when I have an opposing checkdown to the screen. Because there's too many times that, you know, obviously your opponent can, can run into these screens. The blocking doesn't set up. The screenplay to me is typically a secondary action where I like these, uh, I like the Y route. I like the, I even like what the tight end's doing. I like those guys. They're instant open routes that I could take. And hopefully my opponent's user will follow the running back some of these times and I'll make a good decision. But ultimately, like I said, the, the, these don't, the screens don't always set up. Uh, they're, they're, they're about 50 50 where I feel like the check down route. Uh, can be looked at more as the main route and that's one of the reasons that I really like this play is because it's it's a secondary option the, the, you have to get rid of the ball quick obviously because of the screen that's probably why that was incomplete but ultimately these uh, these so called checkdowns can be the main read the only real issue is a lot of times you're letting linemen run in free, but you have a couple different options. You got the running back and you got the slot receiver on the other side. That's the only way I'll run a screenplay is if I have that secondary option. And to me, you know, they're both main options. I don't really even have a choice, but I I have to choose between the two. The A route is a decent route still, but it's not something that's really in play because it takes too long to develop. So just choose between the Y route and the RB route pre-snap. Now, one of the better man coverage plays in this is the corner strike. Now, this play here is pretty unguardable against any man coverage. I don't know if I could do random man. 
Uh, but we'll just pick uh, man cover two. It's probably one of the harder to beat. This next play here, uh, this this route here is pretty unguardable when it comes to man coverage. I don't know if they. This is this is more like a I think a programming issue than anything. All you have to do is low pass it, which is holding the left trigger while throwing. I typically low pass and uh, you know bullet pass away. Um, that's probably the best combination. But you can see if you make that throw on timing accurately, there's nothing that DB really can do. And I think it's a lack of athleticism in the programming of the game so far because you don't even have to really throw it on timing. You just have to low pass and pass it a bullet pass away from the covering corner, and it's just wide open every single time. So that's something that you know you could steal that all game as well. That's what this entire formation is about: is stealing yards, man coverage, man press, whatever. As long as you hold left trigger and bullet pass away from the cornerback. Timing obviously can help. As you can see right there, that was a pretty well-timed throw. It's another really good man beater in the uh, the levels play. We're gonna pick that. We'll keep going with the man coverage looks. So the Y route here, I mean, this is a very unique route. It's gonna get open every single time. Doesn't get jammed. You're gonna see right here, I mean, it's, it's a unique route. These are very, these are all very unique man beater routes that aren't really found in a ton of plays in the game. You can see how this guy is just instantly open. And unless your opponent is using this far out and this wide, I don't really think he's going to have a ton of success or anybody really. As you can see, this guy, he just gets an instant release inside. He's going against a superstar cornerback in Humphrey and it's having no success. I mean, Hardman's fast, but he's not a good receiver. But this formation, like I said, the formation hides him. The route's really unique. You can steal that old game. And I'm getting about 10 yards instantly every time I throw this ball. I don't have to make any augmented throws either i don't have to do anything unique like i was in the previous play i'm just basically throwing it bullet passing obviously but um you know there's nothing really to this play but jailbreak screen's a good one too as well but that's really only good against cover three if somebody's running a lot of cover three you can just throw this in there and have some success because typically in cover three the cornerbacks play back so that's the only scenario maybe even cover fours where this is a good play to run uh, based off of the fact that the, uh, the the coverage is immediately at a disadvantage based on the fact that they drop back. So a good play of throwing against cover three and cover four, and that's just that's about it. It's also got a really good run play in the inside zone. Obviously, uh, you know, everybody knows the inside zone. I shouldn't really have to show too much of this, but I will. You do have options. Like I said, you can motion in this tight end like I've done previously um, for some of the... Uh, you know some of the, the 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 passing plays but i don't find it's necessary this is just a good bread and butter run play i mean it's you know this entire formation is really more about dink and dunk passing but if your opponent is uh respecting that too much they start coming out in smaller packages and they start leaving the middle of the field open they start leaving you gaps and stuff like that the inside zone can be obviously a very deadly run to mix in so this entire formation really revolves around the dink and dunk passing ability and obviously this inside zone is as good as you know any inside zone in the game based off of the spread now that wasn't a great run there but based off the fact that these receivers are out so far you can sometimes try to take it out uh to this lane here where uh, there's a huge gap pre-snap because of the formation design so i like it for that reason um but obviously this is going to be best like i said if they're spread out in the middle if there's too much like if the linebackers are, are out playing wide to the receivers then you're going to have some seriously easy run room inside uh like a little bit more speed on my running back but you can see we're having a lot of success so don't forget about that inside zone because it's definitely a bread and butter play and then last but not least one more explosive play the pa read this is a play that i wanted to show in the first video I might have, to be honest with you. I don't know how I'm going to edit all this, but the PA read is a very good play, especially when it comes to cover four, which we'll have to back out and find a cover four, I'm sure, wherever that may be. It'll definitely be one in here. So we're going to pick the, uh, the cover four drop. What I really like to do is block my running back and slide my protection. You don't really have to do much else other than that. Sometimes I like to put the A route on a comeback just to kind of get that safety to sit a little bit. But ultimately, he's going to react to Tyreek Hill, it just he's not going to react fast enough, um, you know, to stop the play. Might be best just to put him on an out route and then smart route him also, just because I want him out of position as much as possible, and I think getting him away is going to make the most sense. And then obviously, I mean, you know, we've got that uh, that that Roman dead eye lit up, and you can see how easy it is to, to score. So I'm going to end the video there. I said in last week's video, if you guys wanted to see uh, some plays out of the gun flip trips, I have a really good offensive series out of this as well. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.